Hey guys, what's up? My name's Trevor, and we're on Arctic Vet Channel today. Um, I wanted to get something here real quick. It's Thursday, and I want to get this out there Friday morning. And it's kind of it's a last minute video, so I'm out. Just bought a a, a phone mount that sticks onto my windshield and so we're gonna test it out and see how how well it does but while we're out here testing it and driving around seeing how it does I thought I'd talk about my cars and coffee event that I've put on and started here in Hutchison we uh, we've had two really successful car events so far and if you're not familiar with cars and coffee it's just an event that anybody can come out to any car any make you don't have to have a car you can come out just to look at the cars there but it's totally free no registration no entry or uh, no entry fees none of that we actually have it at the alley here in Hutchison and they're awesome enough to provide us with coffee iced tea and water for free and I go ahead and I buy the donuts and so we have donuts up there for free too I mean you can't beat that completely free event to come to and enjoy starts at 8 o'clock in the morning runs till about 11 and so it's really it's a three-hour event nothing too crazy we do have some awesome cars that come out uh, this last one we had a Shelby series one come out and I didn't even know what that car was and it pulled in and I'm looking at it like what in the world is that couldn't even tell couldn't tell you what it was well it parked and I walked over there and found out what it was and it's like wow that's that's sweet to be able to get one of those there and we've had uh, there's some birds in the road had a Ford GT show up uh, he came to the first one he came to the second one really really awesome car and then we have the guys that come out with just their project cars and they're working on them doing things to them so it's great to see that wide range of cars and the community come together like that we even had some people from Wichita come to this last one I want to say that there were 16 Mustangs from Wichita this is a really nice car in front of me right now old couldn't tell you what it is Cadillac maybe old Cadillac but uh so there were 16 Mustangs that all pulled in at once and it was the sickest thing ever um, you could actually see it in my past video my last video that I uploaded Monday was about that so we host our events on the last Saturday of every month at 8 o'clock at the alley and those guys they're from a club there in Wichita and he, the guy, the president came up and he introduced himself and he said that there were two more, but they overheated and there were some old Mustangs. So, I mean, we've got people coming from quite a distance to join our cars and coffee here. <laughs> and these guys in front of me are talking now. <laughs> but the whole, the whole thing that kicked off the cars and coffee idea here in Hutch for me was actually attending the cars and coffee in Wichita they have theirs at the alley too and we went to their opening season one this year and after that even though it was a cold day I I looked over my wife as we're driving back and I'm like why don't we have something like that here in Hutch we've got to get something going so I mean, if you're looking to start a cars and coffee you have questions let me know I can try and answer some of them here real quick but I mean really it just takes the drive the passion 
to want to do an event like that and get it started you have to have that first to get anywhere because I I came back and I said you know what all right how much are donuts gonna cost me how much how can I get some coffee and maybe some water and then the biggest part is finding a location well since the one in um, Wichita was at the alley I thought that's a good spot to start so I called the alley well actually I emailed the alley and they were overly excited for it and they were all in so I went ahead and set up a meeting date with them we had our meeting to talk about it and like what what the plan was what the idea was what we needed from them what we were expecting kind of lay out the rules and whatnot so we we got that done settled out and we got the first event going and so after that after our first event I'm not sure what this guy's doing looks like he's just gonna wait here but so after our first event we talked a little more We're like all right this is a hit we had we had roughly 80 cars show up to the first event and I would say over 100 people easily because there are people walking from from their houses to just come and look at the cars and see what was going on and so we decided let's go ahead and continue it so we've continued it and last weekend was our second event and I counted over over 100 cars roughly 110 cars that came and they were they're were starting to wonder about parking because we've we've only been parking on one side of the parking lot at the alley and it'll hold 107 cars about so I mean you get people that come and leave throughout the day and uh, throughout the morning I mean not the day not an all-day event but uh, they come and leave and so that opens up some parking for more cars and whatnot to come in and park and motorcycles even have some of those come in too which is great I mean I I had people ask me well can motorcycles come are trucks allowed or are these and this allowed and I'm like you know if honestly if there's a pilot out there that can land a plane there legally not get in trouble I would totally be like done do it let's have a plane at a cars and coffee because who else does that I mean that would be that would be awesome and uh, I my uncle has a friend that has a speedboat and my uncles talked to him a little bit about coming out and bringing that but since it's lake season weather it, he's gonna probably be at the lake more more than come to cars and coffee but still it would be really cool to have a speedboat come out to cars and coffee because it's not every day that somebody my age or really anybody even kids get to see a speedboat or a boat in general I mean you can see them out on the water but you see them out on the trailer and you can actually get to look at them and some of them are really really nice and it would it'd be cool to have some of that there so I mean if you guys have a boat and you're in the area bring it out that would be awesome now don't bring your planes because really you can't land your plane there but I mean it would be sweet wouldn't it drop a comment down below if you'd like to see a plane at a cars and coffee event I think it'd be pretty cool so I mean that's really oh we hit a train bad timing I guess we'll sit here and wait for this train as he comes but uh, yeah so I mean that's really what cars and coffee is all about just car guys coming in we're gonna let the train go by probably can't hear me over that horn maybe I should have a contest with him I bet he probably wins
but now with the cars and coffee I've been trying to think of ways to make it stand out make it different like having a plane there having a boat I mean you just don't see or hear about that so that would be awesome and even maybe having some getting in touch with some businesses and having them come out and talk about like pro chargers turbos superchargers maybe tires and setups with wheels you can do just modifications some wraps or something like the benefits or and detailing detailing is a big thing especially when you get into the car community we all want our cars to look good and so detailing was the first thing that I did to the car I took it to the coin freaks and I was like all right go ahead and slap that ceramic coating on it make it beautiful and they did they turned this 20 year old car into like a brand new car and it it still shines to this day like it's brand new and it's been on here for a little over a year probably a year and three months but that's definitely the first thing I'm gonna do with any car I ever get again so I think it would be really cool if I could get some businesses or people that know stuff about that to come out and talk about it and inform those that don't know I I don't know a whole lot I know a little bit about stuff but definitely couldn't tell you how to set it up or what it takes or what it costs or any of that I tell you I love how it sounds those you get a turbo or supercharger and a pro charger and oh any of them they just sound amazing like you don't want to be be that guy next to that car trying to go <laughs> especially if you're like me and just have a very lightly modified car this is a long train so hopefully this comes out really good um, I noticed it was kind of bouncing around a little bit. This mount, I just bought it from Walmart. It this is only $16, so I mean, if it's not great, oh well. But if it works, great. Uh, that'll that would be awesome because my camera that I was using, that I try to use, is a Nikon D3200, I believe, and. I just don't have a way to hold it in the car or mount it anywhere so I thought you know what I'll just go ahead and use my phone for it it I can buy a mount for that fairly cheap put it on the window and go from there <clears throat> but if you guys like this video please leave me a thumbs up drop a comment down below let me know what you thought and if you haven't already click that red subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video have a great night Trains over.